just got finished with today's vlog and realized there's not a great intro. I talk a little bit about uh, what we're doing there. I was there specifically filming for the Midwest Brew Review and uh, Riverlands Brewing Company decided after Billy won a homebrew contest to let him do a beer collab with them. So they're making a big video about it. So I went to help out. And this video is kind of like a behind the scenes of their shoot along with my shenanigans and doing my vlog there. Uh, all while it looks like we're doing a lot of the work to brew this beer, which we weren't. It was all the people there. Everyone was so nice and put up with our shit all day long. It was too long of a day and they stayed well after to clean up and do all the shit. So it was very nice of them. Uh, and uh, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. This has been... It's been a long day. I need to go to bed. Mike's vlog. Mike's vlog. Mike's vlog. Okay, today we're here at Riverlands Brewing because Billy won a homebrew contest, so he gets to do a collab with them. Hell yeah, baby. We won a homebrew contest, and we got Riverlands. We're so excited about it. They decided to invite us to do a beer with them, so today we get to do... It's almost like a... Uh, Remember the, um, you know, like when your your affluent husband, the wife sends them on like the fantasy camp to yeah. like go meet the hockey player or, or yeah, play yeah. football or golf with a pro or whatever. Yeah. This is like brewing fantasy camp for us. Yeah. So like we're here, we have the day off and we're just going to kick it today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hell yeah. But it's go time. Here we go. When we're done, we will be, I'd say dangerously full. <laughs> so here we go. Our green hopper is over there. Carries our, we use pre milled grain here. We don't have to for milk. So it carries the grain up through this auger here, dumps it down this sleeve. It hits the water going in as the grain's coming in. So it's called the grist hydrator. It gets the grain nice and wet as it comes in. Here's the part where I get to drink in my vlog. That's fucking good. They do the science, I do the drinking. Good. Now it's the time Mike uh, drinks on his vlog. Real, right? Awesome. Thanks for bringing it, Brian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think you should drink the next one. You're gonna get in trouble for that. These are weird upper shoulder muscles that I don't use. <laughs> <laughs> are we firing this fucker up or? Climb in there. Oh, no. Just grab it with your hand. All right, ready? Yep. Look who we have here. Coming out of hey. the woodwork. I know, I just stopped by to say hi. And what the hell? You're throwing a beer with a guy, no? What do you got there? Yeah, no, everything about what we're about to do is a nightmare. Malt extract is the gunkiest, crappiest part of this brew day, where nothing about it is good. Uh, except for the fact that it makes our beer way, way stronger in the end. Uh, I guess we'll talk about... And action. What the, <laughs> what the beer actually is at this point. So you talk about the ingredients and, and all okay. that shit. So just say, hey, we're... Uh, hey, we're Midwest Review. Um, no, not that. All right, so that's the end of the boil. Tidy hop cone at the bottom of this for the uh, small amount of hops that we use, but it also will collect all the proteins and all the other stuff we don't really want in the fermenter at the bottom of the kettle. So when we transfer the beer out, it'll leave all that gross stuff behind and not into uh, not into our fermenter. Egg roll thing tonight, and I have to edit this right afterwards. <laughs> then uh, it's a work busy tomorrow. day. Yeah. It's been a lot to do. Because every day is like something, if I have to do anything that day, it's like all of a sudden you have to edit two in one day. Yeah. Well, you're here now making beer with us, so. Yes. <laughs> can't complain. Not at all. And drinking beer, which is even better. 